So September is uh, usually September fall is really the time when we all look at our skins after being exposed to sun, especially after beautiful summer as had last uh, this this last summer. Uh, sun can be damaging for skin, can cause lesions that can cause cancer. So a lot of patients uh, are usually encouraged to come and get check, skin checked after the summer. Now we have uh, uh, our beautiful patient here that has some lesions that we want to check. Uh, before we do, I just want to teach her and, and teach everybody here how do we should assess uh, skin lesions. So there is A, B, C, D, E mnemonic for skin lesions. Um, anything that looks different than the uh, than rest of the skin, so-called black sheep, should be evaluated. And one of the way to evaluate it to check is, is to check for A, asymmetry. If the mole is strange shape, asymmetrical, that needs attention. B stands for border. If the border is uh, fuzzy, it's not even line that should be evaluated. Benign moles are usually uh, very regular, regularly shaped, regularly bordered. Uh, C stands for color. Uh, most of those light brown moles are normal, are completely normal, nothing needs to be done about it. If there is mole that has multiple shades of brown or dark, black, blue, uh, they have some white veil or, uh, on, on the top, on the surface, or red blood vessels need to be evaluated. Those, those moles are maybe, may, may require excision. D stands for dimension. Anything that's bigger than five millimeter, half centimeter, should be evaluated. And not every mole needs to be taken out that's bigger. There are benign moles that are, that are huge. But uh, if something is, especially if something is growing, that is uh, evaluation. And E stands for evolution or change. So this is probably the most important in the evaluation of moles. If the mole is changing its shape, color, the way it feels, starts itching, hurting, that definitely needs to be checked. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the world, and it is most curable cancer if detected early. And uh, so it is encouraged that we are aware of our bodies and maybe have periodic skin checks and especially if we notice that something is changing or meets one of those A, B, C, D, E criteria that needs to be brought to the attention. Uh, so now we're gonna look, and we try to look on the skin from top to the bottom. First, we look on visible parts of the skin, right? So we look at the face, and there is no need by attention. I look on the ears, I look behind the ears, There is, there's one needle here, if you come close here, which is brown, small, symmetrical, with smooth border, and most likely didn't change. So this is an example of benign mole. That doesn't need any, any, any uh, excision at this point. Okay, now we're gonna check chest. Here we are. So, for the, so we have several uh, pigmented lesions here. Those light brown are benign. They are the same color, very, very light brown color. Uh, so th those don't need attention. One of the two lesions that need a little bit more evaluation in this area are, is, is this one, because it's a little darker. It's a little different shape. And this one, because it grew a little bit. So I'm gonna use my dermatoscope. So you're not gonna be able to see because mine is not connected to camera. I'm just using my eye to see what it is. And there is still symmetrical pigment distribution in this one. So I don't think it is cancerous, but this needs to be watched. If it starts growing, if it starts changing, but that this one is probably the one that I would watch the most out of mm -hmm. this entire area. So we examine skin up and down. So we check the chest, we check the abdomen, we check the legs. We also need to look in the atypical areas, like in between toes, on the bottom of the foot. Uh, we uh, turn the patient, we check the back of the leg, uh, in the skin folds, under the breast, under the uh, butt cheeks. And also the last thing to check would be the uh, patient's scalp, patient head. It's very uh, not typical place for skin cancers. Sometimes it is detected early by uh, hairdressers or patient comes and feels something there. It's, it's really difficult to 
to pinpoint something very little. But when we do comprehensive skin exam, that is part of the uh, body. And of course we need to look at it as well. So it depends how thick the hair are. And if they are darker, it's of course more difficult to see. But I always tell the patient, be aware of your body. And if you notice that something is changing and it looks different or it feels different, uh, make sure that you bring it up to someone that can take a look at it. And always, always during the summer, use sunscreen and use sun with moderation as everything in the body. Thank you.